welcome friends welcome to my new video on youtube channel today we will see a small project on hotel billing in a totally different way in a totally new method we have two sheets here billing and price list this is the price list we have items here rates then we have items here then rates then i have in the in this particular column i have combined these two i have combined these two cells into one so that when you change this this is automatically picked up here so at one place we will use this item and at another place we will use this information okay from any place we can go to our user form we have two user forms here this is the first one then we have next page this is another user form second user form so we can move from one user form to another user form in this way so escape this is the billing page we have items price quantity and amount click on this the first user form has come this is the first page of the menu card this happens to be the second page of the menu card so choose any item here and just click on quantity it comes here choose another item quantity third item quantity fourth item quantity fifth item quantity this way it's very easy to do billing I have only taken uh, 10 quantities here. What if the quantity is more than 10? Let's say, suppose we have taken this item and the quantity is 35. We'll put 10 here, go back, we'll put 35. Because I wanted to make it simple instead of so we have this item 25 let's suppose 25 quantity is 25 yes this is again 15 so we cannot use this so just say one go there and just 15 go to next page this one i have taken five this one i have taken five this one i have taken five back this way if you want to delete last line you can keep deleting last line if you want to delete the all the uh, items in the list just say clear this is how it works this is billing is made easy next page So this way it works. We can delete last item like this. Till the top we can delete. 
and after that it will it will stop working so friends let's see how this is made go to developer we have two forms as, as we have seen form 1 this is uh, user form 1 I have created command buttons here this is a command button this is a command button all these are command buttons all these are command buttons we have nothing except command buttons so supposing if you go for label instead of command button let's see how different it looks this is a label give a name to the label i'll say menu card so this is this is this is a label let's see how it is different from this menu card even if you have given a different color let's see how it looks it looks like this okay of course i have not done some formatting here but still this looks better with its contours so i have chosen uh, a command button even for heading i'm deleting this so this is the running mode when it is in the running mode it looks like this and when it is in the design mode it looks like this so see what is the name of, name on this command button when it is in the running mode it is this one and the amount has come from this column let's see where the amount has come from it has come from price list worksheet a2 range a2 let's go and see price list sheet and a2 this one the name of the item has come from that place and where did this go this description that is the moment i click on f5 i am pressing f5 this description the item name along with the rate that is c3 is being shown here not a2 but c3 is being shown here the moment we click on this see i'm going back on this this uh, the moment you click on this it doesn't show the full description it shows only the item name it doesn't show the price here price price comes in the next column so let's see how it is shown see this is command button 6 which we are seeing this is command button 6 see this is command button 6 and when we see the coding it says command button 6 is getting its caption from price list worksheet range c2 it's getting its caption from range c2 this one this one but the moment it is clicked it will send this to the first page to the billing page okay so i have fixed the height and the width of this of this user form so the moment you initialize 
the user form. See, I, in the initialize module, I have given, I have provided names for all the command buttons. These are the command buttons. For example, you take this one randomly, CB85, or, or you say, take this one, CB80. CB80, what does it show? It shows this particular item, CB80, remember. Find out where CB80 is. Yes, it is here, CB80. It is showing the amount given under C22 cell. Go to C22. C22. C, this one, this one. This one. This one is picked up by, by this command button. The moment I click on this and choose a figure, choose a quantity, only the name comes here, the price comes here automatically, quantity we have chosen from the right side, and the amount comes here. And another thing which I have done here is, which you can see is, the moment I click on a particular item, I click on this, it becomes gray. Enable is equal to false. See? The moment I click on this, it will pick up the value from A15 and it says, further it says, command button is equal to false. Enabled is equal to false. That means you cannot choose the same item twice. This is to prevent uh, choosing the same item twice. Okay. What is com combo box one value? Combo box one dot value. The moment I click on this command button 13, I'll take not 13, but I'll take six one. It is, e it will be easy to understand. The moment I click on this, it will send this value which is given in A2 to a hidden combo box which is described as combo box 1. It will send the value to the combo box. Okay. Then, after I select a particular quantity, the quantity, see, I have selected quantity 2. So, it, the text box 4, which is hidden, sends, is, is sent the value of 4, is 2. That means value 2 is sent to text box 4. Then, it will say call command button 1. Let's see what call command button is. It will be somewhere here. All command button. Yes. After the moment we click on this, it will send its value, which is given in C3 to combo box 1. The moment you click on a particular quantity from here, it will send the value to text box 4. Both are hidden. Then, what does it do after getting the quantity, it will say command button one. It is this, this uh, module is called there. So what does it do? It sends uh, four values, combo box one value, three and combo box four. And this is quantities multiplied by price. You get this amount. All these are sent. So these are sent to this place, these four these four things. So after that immediately you clear the boxes. Then you have to give the totals, totals in this fashion. Totals of the selected menu items. This is how it's created.
next page you can select the moment i click on this this particular amount a particular name is sent to combo box one the moment i click on five the item five is selected to this combo box and both are sent to this page and the amount changes automatically because of the two line formula which we have seen then whatever you give here suppose there is there are still lot of blanks here so you can change make amendments or add new things let us go and add something mm, here here in this fourth uh, column we will add something here here see this formula is there already I have just copied it now go back and see see this item has come I select this and say I select quantity also see I had given this amount to make additions here it's easy it's simple as simple as this so supposing you want to change the quantity here you can do it so billing is made easy with this program you can try any other item <coughs> So friends, I'll put this in my website. <clears throat> Anybody desirous of getting this can click on my website, can visit my website excelprograms.in and I have uploaded some Excel programs. And this program is also, this program also I'm going to upload this, this uh, program I'm going to upload. You can maybe tomorrow you can see and download it. Thanks for watching. If you like my program, if you like my video, click on like and share with your friends. Thanks very much for watching till the end.